It's been three months since I was supposed to hop on a plane to Colombia for the first round of the Enduro World Series. Clearly, things have changed a bit since then. With a minimum of three months before there's a chance to do this again. Yeah! Yeah! Go, go, go! It's clear there's gonna be a lot of time to kill. But one man can only drink so many coffees. So, I should probably try and make the most of it. I have three more months to prepare for the next race. I plan on using at least a few of those days to dial in my setup on the bike and try out a few new things. I think some people in the mountain bike world call this testing. Some things will be simple, others could get a lot more complicated. Mountain bikes are complicated machines and there's a ton to be gained through proper setup. The first thing I wanna try is a simple one, but one that I'm sure 90% of mountain bikers have never tested back to back. These Shimano resin pads here versus the metallic pads I have in my bike. I've always run metallic pads on all my bikes because I thought they had the best stopping power, but recently I've heard of people running resin pads in their brakes because they feel it can actually soften the initial bite and give you more brake control. So today I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. What are better? Metallic or resin pads? Or is it all situational? Are resin pads gonna perform better in some conditions and metallic in others? So the plan is to do a few laps on this bike. First lap on the metallic pads, then I'll swap to the resin, do another lap on those, then go back and do a timed lap on the resins, then finally swap back to the metallics and do a final lap on those. Hopefully after all that, I can figure out whether I'd ever consider taking resin pads to the races. So just made it to the top of Dirty Jane 2. Looks like there's been a little bit of trail work done, so thanks to whoever did that. Conditions look pretty good. The roots are dry. There's definitely a little bit of moisture still in the dirt, so I think that'll be pretty good for testing the control of these brake pads back to back. Definitely rough. Woo. This part always makes me a little nervous. High line there. Woo. Oh man. Getting a little wild here. Down the steep chute. Jump up here. Get. Woo. Ah. It's actually quite slick on these rocks. Ah! Oh man, freaking hectic. Oh. All right, just finished lap one, back of the van. As far as bike feel is concerned, uh, bike felt pretty normal. I'm gonna swab the pads out and go for another lap. First lap was a 237.22. Uh, I swapped to the resin pads and I'm gonna go try another lap. Back at the top of the trail here for lap two. Plan for this lap is to just kind of get used to the resin pads. I think I can still go faster than the first lap just because I rode a bit stiff for lap one. So the goal is to do a sub 236 on this lap and then depending how these brake pads feel, really open it up for lap three. Oh, ow, freaking hit my shoulder there. Come in, set up large for this. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Set up a bit wider. Come high. Oh man. This track is rough. Ah. Definitely feeling like maybe overshooting my break points a little bit. Oh man, came in a bit faster than I thought. It's definitely gnarly. Off this drop and do the mock down this key thing. And then all these rocks. Definitely don't want to open it up too much on these because you'll never be able to slow down again. And time. Oh. 
All right, so I definitely scared myself a little bit more on that lap. My time was a 229.93. That's eight seconds faster than my first lap, which is definitely a lot on a two minute 30 track. As far as the brakes are concerned, definitely felt like I was overshooting my braking points a little bit. They just didn't have that initial bite that I was kind of used to on my old pads. They still had all the power I needed to slow down, but it did feel like I kind of overshot maybe one or two spots that I hadn't before. But I was also going faster, so that's also a consideration that I have to take into account. On the first lap, my rear wheel did step out a few times, just under braking on the roots. And second lap, I didn't have that uh, experience. So maybe that's because of a bit more control on the brakes. So now I'm gonna go back up to the top and hopefully clean up that run a little bit. Now that I know kind of what the bike is gonna feel like, see if I can go a bit faster than I did. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at this sketchy thing again. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. Shit. Maybe I'm getting a bit tired here. Fuck, same thing. Oh, all right. Drive through all these sketchy rocks. Woo, man. And time. All right, so just got back from lap three. Uh, did another 229. That might be my Tuesday afternoon race against yourself, non-race, race pace. Definitely didn't overshoot my braking point in as many corners this time around, just because I knew what the resin pads felt like a bit more. I'm gonna swap back to the metallics now, try another run on those, see if I can't go any faster than a 229. Definitely feel a tiny bit faster, more in control with these pads. High line. A steep bit, I keep messing up. All right, that was good. Woo. Woo. Oh, buddy, it's getting tight. Oh, this sketch. Oh man, gets fucking rough. Oh, and that's it. Holy shit. Lap four is done and I went a little bit faster on that one. 221.81 on the metallic pads, so another eight seconds quicker. Which I wasn't expecting because I thought that um, those runs on the resins were like two 229s in a row. Kind of, It kind of felt like that might have been the limit. Felt like those were fast runs and didn't want to push much harder than that. So uh, to go another eight seconds faster on the metallic pads was surprising to me. So clearly today in these conditions, the metallic pads are the clear winner. 
Way more stopping power in those steeps, just ability to slow down when you need it. Had it been a bit wetter, the resin pads would have definitely been a good choice just for that control. I think if the grip on trail hadn't been so good, the time difference might not have been as great. But uh, today with such grippy conditions, dry roots, good dirt, the metallics just were the clear winner. Definitely would like to try again in slipperier conditions. Today, metallics all the way. A couple other quick notes. Regardless of performance, metallics are gonna last substantially longer than resin pads. So if you're interested in buying a new set of pads, that's definitely something to consider. And then in the wet, they're going to be more powerful than resins. But from a performance standpoint, that might not always be what you want. One day, I think I gotta come back when it's muddy, when it's wet out, when there's no grip and try this test again. But for now, I've been on the right track all along with the metallic pads and, um, and there's no reason to switch it up now.